hazard warning. Entering contaminated zone. Hey guys, Jacob here. It is March 15th, 2022, and this is going to be this week's vendor reset. We're actually starting in New York this time around to get it out of the way first, and I'll show you guys what's for sale at the vendors because, for one, they don't really sell anything useful in general, but if you guys need any of these items, I would recommend picking them up. That's going to be Roy Benitez real quick for you if you guys want to pick any of those rolls up or any of those basic high-end geared weapons. And then over here, if you take a left... This guy is selling max assault rifle damage if you guys need that for your stat library or rolls in general. I'm going to scroll to the rest of it real quick if you guys need them or need anything that's for sale here. But just getting that quickly out of the way and then we're going to head back all the way to DC. Which is where the main vendors are and we're going to be starting off at the White House at the front desk vendor. Now I do apologize for the lack of content recently, like if you guys watched the update video, I am very busy, but I'll still be getting these vendor resets out for you guys so you have something to look forward to. But this is the front desk vendor. This week she is selling the Cold Rations SMG, this is the named PP-19 with Perfect Strained. So if you guys are trying to collect all the named items slash gear and weapons, I would recommend grabbing this. I'm going to scroll to the rest of these items in case you guys need them, or need any of the rolls, and I would recommend picking them up if you do. Now if you go under the helipad, you guys will see the double white doors right here, and you'll see the clan quarters. Shout out to Kamikaze Von Doom and the Disciples of Doom. The clan vineyard this week is selling the Quiet Roar. This has perfect overwhelmed. Like I said, if you're trying to collect all the named items, I would recommend grabbing this. But overall, it's one of the coolest looking LMGs in the game, but not one of the best. They are selling max pistol damage if you guys need that for a pistol build. And they are selling a pretty decent MG5. The rolls on this aren't 100% god roll, uh, but you already have damage to armor, of course, on there, and damage chart of cover, because damage to of cover are on LMGs, of course. So if you're trying to find a pretty decent MG5, I would recommend picking this up, because you can optimize it out pretty easily, because it's not like it's 6.2 damage charts of cover or 3% damage to armor. These are almost max, so I feel like you guys could use this. I'm going to scroll through the rest of these items in case you guys need them, but that's really going to be about it for the clan vendor. Next is going to be the theater settlement and the campus. The theater settlement is going to be the first location we go to on the map because it is pretty much one of the closest ones to the base of Ops, and it's actually one of my favorite settlements in the game, even though there's only a few. Nice you. This week he's selling the Surge. This has perfect spike, which is headshots grants 25% skill damage for 15 seconds. I'm going to scroll through the rest of these items in case you guys need the rolls. I'm going to point out these Seska gloves if you're new trying to make a pretty much critical hit build or just find something for reds to make it work in the meantime. I would recommend picking these up because you can change the weapon handling to critical hit damage. And if you want to have all triple red you know, Seska gloves, you can always optimize them. That's going to be about it for the theater settlement. The next settlement is going to be the campus settlement, which is located on the left side of the map. Now, as soon as you get here, you're just going to pretty much just spawn in and walk straight down the brick sidewalk, and then take a left at the tree, which is at the very end, and then you guys will see the vendor pretty much just sitting there on the left. And you're going to see the orange sign as well that says vendor. I've got the this week, she is selling the Punch Drunk Mask. This is the DNH mask, which has 20% headshot damage. You get pistol damage from the one piece, so if you're trying to make a pistol headshot damage build, I would highly recommend picking this one up. I'm going to scroll to the rest of these items in case you guys need them. I will point out this Aralda Holding Holster if you guys are trying to make a sniper build. This one already has headshot damage on and critical hit damage and weapon. So this one's not horrible, but it's also not the best. But you could make it work if you're trying to farm for Aralda Holding Pieces. Ask me about it for the vendors for the White House, Campus, and Theater. Now we're going to be heading over to the Dark Zones. That's going to be DZ West, South, and east. Keep this in mind, you're going to need a different type of resource to pretty much buy any of these items, which is going to be DZ resources. Which can be located in the DZ by extracting gear and getting out with it, or open tiny little boxes scattered around the DZ and getting one resource per box. Welcome. This week he is selling the Harmony. This is one of my favorite talents in the game, in my opinion one of the best talents in the game, because for one, it benefits skill builds and also weapon damage builds. 
Hitting an enemy grants 20% skill damage for 5 seconds, and using a skill or damage an enemy with a skill grants 20% weapon damage for 5 seconds. So if you have a drone shooting someone, you're getting weapon damage, or if you're shooting someone, then your turret gets weapon damage, or whatever pretty much you're using. I'm going to scroll through the rest of these items in case you guys want to pick them up. I'm going to point out these somber gloves if you guys are trying to make a hazard crit build. Uh, I know some people have been looking for this combo for quite some time now. One that already has, of course, weapon hazard that's above 6%. I've had a few people ask me if it's been above 6%, at least 8 or 9. And then weapon handling, they can roll to something like critical hit chance or critical hit damage. So you have your critical hit damage roll, hazard, and weapon. So if you guys are trying to find this piece, I know a few people are, and you know who you are, uh, then now's the chance to get it. That's be about it for DZ West. And then next is going to be DZ South. And this time I'm going to spawn at the door because it is a little bit easier. Sometimes you get a loading screen, sometimes you don't. It really just depends on if the game wants to do that to you or not. And of course it does it to me. So sometimes it's a little quicker to go to the door. Sometimes it just takes a second to load in. And of course this is on the Series X, so it loads pretty quickly, but it can be annoying sometimes. So you go out the door and take a right. This is where she is located. I can help you find. This week she is selling the Rail Splitter. If you guys don't have this, I would highly recommend picking this up. Because for one, this is one of the more favorited named items in the game. Maybe it's not as what as it was you know back in the day. Um, but this actually had perfectly measured on it back in the day. In my opinion, was one of the most... You know, probably one of the funnest guns. I know it's not really a word. Some people are arguing about that. But one of the best guns to use in the game for overall fun. Because for one, the RPM on this thing is 900. And of course, it has 92 you know, K damage, which isn't compared to say like a Carbine 7 or P416 or an AK or even the EB. But when you had perfectly measured on this thing, it just ran through rounds like it was nothing. So if you guys don't have this weapon, I know it has perfect accurate on it. Um, and already has accuracy rolled, so you can get rid of that, of course, and optimize the health damage. I really think this is worth picking up just to have in your stash in general, because maybe in the future they might change some of these weapons and make them better. I'm going to scroll through the rest of these items in case you guys need any of this stuff. But overall, that's going to be about it for DZ South. And then finally, we have DZ East. And since we already went to New York, this is going to be the last stop on the list we have to worry about. And as soon as you spawn in, this one does take a second to you know move to. So just keep going straight. And you guys will see here on the right, right next to the DZ East letters on the wall. That's her right there, as soon as you go up. And this week she is selling the Darkness. This has perfect eyeless. In my opinion, this is one of the most useless, um, not 100% useless, but one of the most unused, I guess, snipers in the game or named items in the game. Same goes for some of the other ones. I think it's like the Mozambique pistol. I've never seen anybody use that. I'm sure there's someone out there who's, you know, use it, of course. Um, but if you guys didn't have this, I'd recommend grabbing it if you're trying to collect all the name stuff. But at the same time, you could farm loot location areas just to get one and say you have it. I am going to scroll through the rest of the items in case you guys need them. They are selling max, or almost max, 14.8 weapon damage on holsters if you guys need that. But overall, that's really going to be about it for this week's vendor reset. And I do want to apologize for stuttering a little bit. It's really early when you guys are seeing this footage when I'm recording. It might be uploaded around, you know probably like 10 o'clock, uh, but I recorded this way earlier than that. Uh, but thanks all for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more Division 2 content.